these days, more and more people, I, I think throughout our lifetimes, probably everyone, will have to reinvent themselves. And what I mean by that is that we have a couple of factors going on in our society. One is that there's so much disruption in our economy. If you had your heart set on a career in the music industry, in the video industry, in the publishing industry, guess what? It's probably not going to look the way that you pictured it initially. Um, but we also have people who, in a very proactive sense, want to reinvent themselves. Maybe throughout the course of their career, uh, they discover something that is really interesting to them and they want to shift into a different area in their job or their company. Uh, they find something they really passionately want to pursue. And if you need to do that, that's fantastic. But most people probably have you in a bucket. Oh, you know, you, you do this. You're good for this. And so you need to expand their understanding of who you are and what you're capable of. And so in my book, Reinventing You, I really tried to provide a roadmap for people to help them explain and show to other people, here's who I am and here's, here's why I can add value. There are really three steps to the reinvention process. The first one is getting clear on how you're currently perceived. What is your brand in the marketplace? And if there are any holes or, or areas that you need to fill in in order to get to uh, the next place, making sure that you're doing that, whether it's with additional uh, training or you know, reading, informational interviews, whatever it is, but making sure that, uh, that you fill in those pieces. The next is really identifying and articulating where you want to be. This is where you develop a narrative that explains how your past experience and your skills can add value to your new field or the new context that you want to be in. And third and finally, it's manifesting that brand to the world. Because your brand isn't something that you say like an elevator pitch. Your brand is something that you live. It's something that people extrapolate about you based on the leadership roles that you take based on how you present yourselves. What is your executive presence? It's something that people uh, understand and take in through the content you produce online or what your digital footprint is. And so understanding and taking control of those things means that you're taking control of your brand.